Well, I know I'm a bit late to this, but uh, I intended to make a video on the April Fool's event yesterday. However, I unintentionally fell asleep, so uh, here we are. Obviously, the first thing everyone wonders about when there is a uh, War Thunder April Fool's event is what this could mean for the game since Gaijin uses them to test for certain mechanics. And the first thing that pops into my mind for this one is obviously infantry, which I'm really not sure how I feel about that, to be honest. Like, I always figured that Enlisted was basically War Thunder's infantry equivalent. Because you still get vehicles in that, and it's very, very similar. It's published by the same people. Well, that man's taking a snooze. <laughs> and personally, I feel like it won't be very fun if, uh, you know, you're just minding your own business in a tank and then you suddenly get sniped by some guy that's prone in a bush with uh, an RPG-29. <laughs> <laughs> I do think this could be a test for something else, though. Oh my god. Which is that it could be a test for unmanned ground vehicles. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. The way they just slump over. Oh, uh, okay, my game crashed. <laughs> I noticed some of the weapons that are used by these uh, mobile infantry suits have been found on some unmanned ground vehicles. Like the one I'm using right now, the XM914, or at least I think it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, that's been used on some prototype unmanned ground vehicles. And I feel like that'd probably be a better fit for War Thunder, because it is still a vehicle and not, you know, just a guy with a rocket launcher. I'm just a nigga with a rocket launcher. But you definitely have some infantry movement mechanics in this, so I'm, I don't know. Oh god, my game. I'm getting 8 FPS. What the hell? My game crashed again. And then there are weapons in this, like, spike. I think the American anti-tank one gets two spike launchers. The first one being the typical, you know, Saklos, you fire it and it can arc and you control it from there. And then there's the IR guided one, which I think if Gaijin's going to put spike in the game, it's probably going to be that. Fire and forget ATGMs would be very busted, but still not as busted as, uh, you know, being able to snipe someone in their spawn as soon as the match starts. <laughs> it's also entirely possible that this isn't testing for anything, and they're just, uh, you know, having fun. But then again, I think probably the Atomic Heart event would do that instead of this one, because the Atomic Heart event is literally just advertising for a game that they, uh, you know, have a stake in. Maybe if they made a combined arms game mode where you spawn in as infantry and you have to work your way up to spawning a tank, that could be interesting, like, as its own game mode. But infantry in War Thunder just seems like a yucky concept. I don't know how else to describe it. Lagging so much right now. What a mess. Ugh. I don't even know if my recording software is working at the moment. Well, yeah, infantry would be pretty easy to kill uh, as a tank. You know, you got machine guns, high explosive. It could make gameplay more dynamic, but I think, you know, War Thunder is supposed to be a vehicular combat game. It kind of distracts from that, I guess. I, I'm really sorry about the footage, guys. I'm... I don't know how I can make this better. <laughs> Hi, I'm Peter Kate. I'm president of the Bigfoot community. I can state without a doubt that it's an actual goblin. Oh my god, dude. I'm getting like 2 FPS. Wait, can he help me repair? No. Oh. No, I don't think he can. Oh my. I might just uh, go back to playing the regular game at this point. This is ridiculous. I cannot see what I'm doing. Can... Uh, oh. <laughs> well, I wanna, 
I want to direct hit a guy. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. <laughs> I can't see what's happening, but I direct hit him with 125 millimeter HE. I <laughs> okay, okay, let's 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 get out of here. And my game crashed immediately. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to see if people are having the same issues as me, but on the post, people are just making a bunch of Starship Trooper references instead of actually talking about the event. I'm doing my part! Well, at least in this one, my game is still at a relatively stable frame rate. The infantry is just so hard to spot unless they're, like, actively jumping around. And you have to remember, these are way bigger than an actual infantryman. The running animation is pretty goofy as well. It reminds me of something, but I'm not sure what. Okay, no, apparently the regular spikes are just your typical Sacklos missile. Enemy spotted. Come on. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. At least I'm finally killing something. I like the sniper class way better, because, you know, it actually, uh, kills things when you shoot them. Ooh. Yeah, he's very dead. Damn, I just missed him. Okay, he's dead, apparently. I, uh, hold on, where is his body? I didn't see him slump over. I can't confirm he's dead. <laughs> I think, uh, I think Sniper might be the best class, I don't know. What the hell? I don't know how to, I don't know how to lead these things. Oh, I just barely dodged a rocket. Uh, let's try a BMP3, I guess. That sounds like it could be fun. Yeah, I think everyone has found out that Sniper is the best class. He got evaporated. Okay, uh, I don't know what I hit on that guy, but apparently he's still operational. Okay, nope, that was a kill assist. I'm going to be doing the thing that you should be doing in uh, armored fighting vehicles when engaging infantry and staying far, far away from them. <laughs> oh, wow, the missile does not like to pull, does it? Okay, this one I think we can hit with a missile. Assuming that he doesn't, uh, move at all. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's a guy. Two guys. <laughs> the key is to use the sniper until you get enough spawn points to get an IFV. And then you can just annihilate people. <laughs> oh no. Did he guide that from the grave? Or no, I think that was the, uh, the thermal one. I do wonder what the, uh, effective radius on HE is versus infantry. You'd think it'd be pretty significant, but I'm not sure. Yeah, apparently it's not too great. Did I just get shot by an Abrams? He really thought he had me. Nah, dog. I'm a BVM. I don't care. You shot me, I'm just gonna shrug it off. So that's pretty much what you can expect from the April Fool's event. What things it might possibly be testing. It's basically just infantry UGVs and potential modern weapons. And I think I would be okay with modern weapons. It seems like spikes are really easy to break lock with as they're implemented currently. And the base spike version they have is just a regular Sacklos missile. That could open up a lot of IFV options for tech trees like France, Germany, Israel. And I think I'd be okay with UGVs as long as they're not super small. As always, if you guys have suggestions for video topics, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one.